Hi there, welcome to QA Box and this new series about mastering XPath for UI automation testing. All right, so in this video, we are going to learn two more functions starts with and ends with. And starts with is available within XPath 1.2 version. XPath 2 has got this ends with. However, our browser does not have the native support for xpath 2.0 and hence with the xpath expression we cannot identify the elements and therefore even selenium would work okay so uh, let us now open the console and understand these so we have to work on this let me clear this up I have to go to elements and starts with the function that used for finding the web elements whose attribute value gets changed on refresh or by other dynamic operation on the web page. In this method, the starting text of the attribute, now we can work on both attributes and text. And we are going to see that. So with the help of this starts with function, you know, the starting text of the attribute or the text node is matched to the match to find the element whose attribute or text value changes dynamically. You can also find elements whose attribute value is static means it does not change so what is the syntax so syntax is pretty simple if you are working on the attribute node i hope by now things are clear we have element node we have comment node we have attribute node we have text node so this function can work on attribute node as well as on text node and the syntax is pretty simple straightforward so you're going to say tag right so you're going to provide the html tag so if you're working on let's say a text box right or on an input so you're going to say input in here and you're going to say starts with if we are working with attribute you have to provide this right so we've talked about this so you have to say app at and they provide the attribute name and the attribute value simple straightforward right so this is our sample control section again so let us see uh, so this is this value is constant if I load this page again So you could see that this value is changing. All right, so let us see that So we'll open the, this thing and the ID is 117. All right, is it also changing? So if I see So this is also changing right so text is also changing and the ID is also changing So let us see how are we going to do that so again i'm using chrome so i'm going to open this window and i'm going to say let's first work on the id okay so it's a div all right um, and yes two forward slashes and we are going to say div and this div got has got the id so if i say id is equal to this right it will not work because it changes on every page reload so therefore we have to go for contains right now we have already done that yes we can do that with contains as well but now this is another method that we are going to use so we're going to say starts with okay and then just like contains we are going to put it here and just like contain it's a function right so you can't use this equal to so you have to provide in the arguments and we are going to pass in the value which is one and now i can identify this right using the attribute i'm just providing the partial value i'm saying that as long as you know uh, the value of this id attribute starts with one i'm good just return me that control all right so let me reload this page all right and hit this again so you can still identify that okay so if i change it to ton tone right and I find that I cannot find it because it starts with one and not T O N E. Okay, so that's about the attribute starts with right. If I say, if I go for this is div one. Okay, so can I do that? Let's see. This is div one. Okay, and instead of ID, this has to be what text, right? Because with the help of this function, we can work on the text node. And by now. 
you must be clear that this is a text node and now i can do that i can identify this control let me reload this page right so watch out for this value and let me reload this page the value is changed but i can still identify this control that starts with so ends with is exactly opposite of it so the value has to end with that particular value okay and this is the case which we can use so here the value is ending right so what do we have to do this is the attribute so i have to say at name and this is going to be ends with right so i have to change this to ends with and i'm going to say four right so if i say in here four if i can spell that correctly so if i say four right ends with name four and i hit enter i cannot find it because this function is available into xpath 2.0 version which is not natively supported by the browser and if you just take this up go to the console and say document dot uh, evaluate yes and you say first is path expression you pass in that value and again you have to use okay the second parameter is context node right we're going to say document dot body third node is we can pass null then we have result xpath result dot any type not arguments any type and then we are going to pass now let's see what we are going to get let a is equal to this so you could see that fail to execute execute evaluate on this the string is not a valid xpath expression what else can we do here we can also use this syntax right and we are going to pass in the value and let us now execute this we are going to get the same error okay fail to execute this on command line api okay the string is not a valid xpath expression so be very careful that you know whenever you are writing those xpath you just make use of functions defined into xpath 1.0 version because still we do not have the browsers to support this and chrome uses the library lib to xml and they they, they have support only for xpath 1.0 they started working on it to make it 2.0 compatible but the work is still not done so for us it is still working on xpath 1.0 version and therefore we are going to use starts with and not ends with and there are many more functions like you know lowercase and uppercase so maybe like you know you are uh, passing in some text which is into lowercase but on the application it is into a uppercase so you just want to you know just carry it away and use uppercase function of the xpath believing that it will work no i mean you can uh, simply check that in your browser you can use either document.evaluate or you can use the syntax and find out you know and that will ensure that if it doesn't work here uh, it will also not work in case of selenium because selenium at the end of the day is executing your code within the browser itself okay so that's about uh, starts with ends with an xpath version one and greater thank you